You are now tuned in to Not Without Alonzo. Back in the days when I was I got an album in there. Uh, the cop- the compilation. Yeah. Man, I think about that shit right there. And I didn't really do nothing but show the guys where where we had to go. Okay? True story. I'm doing, I got my studio, same one we in here right now. And I had a guy working in the studio, engineer. Okay? And uh, another engineer came to me with a whole crew of guys, including Compton's Most Wanted. And about four or five other groups. Hey man, I want to do a compilation album on my boys. If I'll produce it, all you gotta do is give me the studio time. So the one guy was in the studio one time, and they wanted he wanted to switch time, but the guy that was currently here. I said, cool. I told him, hey man, look, man, they're gonna be here a certain time. And I think it was in the, in the uh, daytime. They're gonna come in the daytime, you come in the evening time. Okay? So one night I'm in the studio, I'm in the, I'm, my studio is right under the, my, my uh, bedroom was almost under the studio. I hear rumbling going on. I always hear rumbling going on. I'm paying no attention because that's, you know, it's, it's thin walls. Good the next morning, my guys come in to start the album. All my rack equipment is gone. All my tone generators, my gener- my uh, compressors, everything is gone. I said, Lonzo, where all the stuff at? I said, it's up there, what you talking about? I come upstairs, man, all my shit is gone. Mm. Gone. Mm. The nigga stole my shit. I paid you. He answered the page. Oh, man, look, uh, I was I was going to borrow it, but I knew you wouldn't let me use it. Because you're going to do this project with these other niggas, and I got to get my shit done. Oh, wow. You just gonna take my shit without asking. I'm gonna bring it back in about three weeks. So here's how life works, man. This is a true story. I got a reason to lie about this. A few minutes later, one of his girls called looking for him. I told her what happened. She said, he said he was in supposed to be in Arizona. He ain't in Arizona, he's in Fontana. I just talked to him. Well, I know where he is. He's in Fontana, at this other girl's house. I said, what? So I put, the, put together a couple of fellas, and they went over there where the girl lived, find out where she lived at, and they went over there. Uh-huh. And sure enough, they, were, they, they called me up. They come, they come outside, they, they, they get to a, we, had, we only had pages back then, they paged me. Yeah, man, the stuff is here. So I come over there, go back over there, and sure enough, there my shit is blinking and flashing. They got a full-blown session going down with my shit. Yeah. Okay? So I, I say, man, what, what, what's happening? So I go in there, I got an attitude. I got my partner, I got my nephew, I got my partner. I don't want my shit, I don't want no problems. Oh man, get the fuck out of here, fuck you, whoop, whoop, whoop. His girl go gets a gun. She draw it out on us. Gotta go, don't want no problem, yeah. gotta go. Meanwhile, I call the police, mm-hmm. okay? When I call the police, she come out there and tell her we tried to break into her house. Okay. So now they got my name, my address, everything. Damn. Okay? I'm neutralized. So I come back, I tell the fellas from the compilation, I'm gonna say, man, I know the stuff here, but I can't get it because the cops got my information. And uh, you know, I ain't going back to Fontana and go to jail. I'm going to jail in Fontana. And they said, fuck it, let's go. So my cousin, me and my cousin, he drove his car. They hopped in what they call great big white. Big white was old moke with a uh, van. Okay. They pull up, I'm across the street. Gave him the number. And one guy knocked on the door. And when the guy knocked on the door, about 10 cats ran up in the house. Of your cats? Yeah. Okay. And my shit wasn't there. Okay. And he had moved all my shit. You knew I was coming back yeah. from, from a fashion. He moved all my shit. I'm like, oh, fuck. But these motherfuckers took everything out the lady house. Microwave oven, <laughs> to the after machine, baby <laughs> shit. Pots and pans oh, and shit. Yeah. Bitch, we getting something. Oh, yeah. fuck you, nigga, in a home invasion. Yeah. That ain't my oh, shit. My God. That ain't my shit. Okay? <laughs> that ain't my shit. Plus, but homeboy's car was there. That's the part that made it fucked up. His car was there. Okay. And they took they took something and threw it through the nigga's window. Oh, okay, through his windshield. All we got is pages now. My pages blowing up. Beep, 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 beep. I'm on the I'm on the 10 freeway coming back home. Beep, 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 and you don't have beep, a cell that you can just We gotta say, we gotta we gotta pull over. Yeah. We gotta have a pocket for the change. Uh-huh. This is this is still payphone time, yeah. right? Nigga called me a crime. Man, why I do my girl like that? Dude, I ain't do nothing. I, I, I think I always talk about it. 
Oh man, they came in the house with all her shit, microwave, after service. <laughs> Uh, uh, convection oven and Maybe pots and pans and shit. God damn. Oh man, that's fucked up. I don't know why he did you like that, man. Oh man, I give you your shit back. Well, guess what I wanted. So now, 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 now here I am. I'm, in, I'm indirectly or could be directly involved in a home invasion. Mm-hmm. Theoretically, okay. I didn't look at it like that back then. I'm, I'm talking about that thing. I was a fucking, I was a goddamn home invasion. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Okay? Uh-huh. This is how you can get caught up. Yeah. That was not my intention. I just want to get my shit and go home. Uh-huh. But because these, these cats was street niggas, man. You know, we talk about MC8 and Chill. And I can't get, get these niggas names up, but it was a bunch of cats from the hood. So they wait, were, these are the CMW? These are, dude, I'm telling you! What? I just caught that. I heard you say CMW earlier. I'm telling you! God. So, hey, don't get mad at me, nigga. We cool now, right? <laughs> But yeah, it was, it was you know... The cast on the album cover. Damn. Okay? They wasn't taking no for an answer. Okay? And I'm like, okay, shit. So now, you know, me and homeboy start negotiating to get my shit back. He wouldn't come, he wouldn't see me. He didn't want to come see me. Okay? He gonna send one of his partners, a mutual friend that we know. His partner's like, he mad in the motherfucker. I get in the middle of you nigga shit. And his partner think I'm some kind of killer gangster. Nah, no, nigga, I want my shit back. Man, I don't want to be running part of this shit. I'm not gonna do with this. No, I'm just getting my shit back. Now, here's how a motherfucker do you. Okay? The motherfucker brought me my shit back. We go plug it in the studio. None of this shit was working. Yeah. Then we looked at the back of it, and you can see screws have been unscrewed out the shit. Mm-hmm. We opened the shit up. All the fucking chips was gone. Wow. Now, you still playing games. Damn. You still playing fucking games. You thought it was over. I thought, it, I think I hate your, your microwave, your, your shit making mama. Yeah. I'm still fucking with you. Then he called me up talking shit. Yeah, nigga, y'all broke my window. I need $300. I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing this shit away. I ain't giving you shit. I wouldn't give you a fucking dime if you was the last nigga on earth. In fact, I'm going to give it to the white man at the motherfucking repair shop. Took all my shit to Hollywood. To the repair shop. He... You should go with me to the same repair shop. Okay. I'll tell you how a motherfucking nigga ain't shit. I dropped my shit off. Guy said, hey man, you got about, about 300 with the chips missing plus labor. Mm-hmm. Okay. I said, 50. I don't give a shit. I might give this motherfucker a dime. And then uh, he called back about 10 minutes later. He said, man, Lonzo. What's going on? What you talking about? That guy you brought down here? What's his name? I said, Vince? He said, yeah. He says, he offered, he offered to sell me a bunch of chips. I said, this is my shit. He said, he says, uh, how much do you want for him? He told me he was going to give them to me. He said, what? He's going to charge me $300 for my what? shit. But he's going to give them to the white guy. What? I said, what, 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 what you going to do? He said, I, he said, you want me to get him? I said, get him. Put him in. And I pay you for putting him in. And he gave it to the guy, he put him in, got my shit back two days later. What was okay? his point of doing that? Just being a Just bitch. being a dick. Just okay. being a dick. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Just being a dick. Uh-huh. Guy charged me $35 to put, it off, put everything back together. Everything was fine. Okay? okay. So here's how karma fucked up. Uh-huh. About three months later, I'm sitting at home on a Sunday evening, minding my own business. I get a call from one of my nephews who, who was involved in that situation. He said, man, you home? I said, yeah, I'm home. What's that? He said, we coming by. And they come by in this van, and they got emulators, turntables, keyboards. I said, what the fuck? I don't do this. He said, oh, man. Vince fucked over them, and they took all his shit. Damn. I'm like, what? He said, yeah, man, he pulled some shit on them, and they just took all his shit. I said, I don't. Get it out of here. Get it out of yeah. here. But that's going to show you how the karma go. Yeah. Now, you taking my shit, somebody take all your shit. Okay, he, first person you call was me. Man, I just like took all my... No shit. Okay? <laughs> no shit. 